when you are a multiple winner of the Lighthouse Run, a state champion runner in high school, and a track and field All-American in college at UW-Parkside, it's not uncommon to have your name mentioned as one of the best ever in the area. But when you add wins in the Boston Marathon and New York Marathon to an already impressive resume, you understand why historically, Kim Merritt has been recognized as one of the top female runners in the country. Those at the time were the two premier races in the country, and they still are. You can add Chicago to the mix. But Kim came as a relative newcomer, as I believe her freshman year, maybe sophomore year at Parkside, and she won them both in her inaugural run. Uh, she went on to win them multiple times. A graduate of Case High School in 1973, Kim's ascension to running fame coincided with the growth of women's running in the United States in the mid-70s, an irony for the intensely private Merritt, who disliked the celebrity status that followed her to the top of the country's running world. As a freshman at Parkside, she won the Wisconsin State Cross Country Championship and went on to place fifth at nationals. At age 20, she burst onto the national scene when Merritt made her major marathon debut by winning the New York Marathon. At that time, she was one of the few women marathon runners in the world. In a short two-year span, with several firsts and a few near misses, Kim was one of the best female marathoners in the world. With her performances and her appearance, she could have been a millionaire in the running world, but she scorned it. She just wanted to be a distance runner, nothing else. When she won the 1976 Boston Marathon, Kim was the youngest winner, male or female, in the 77-year history of the event. The following year, Kim set the women's national record at the Nike Marathon in Oregon. That same year, she was named Runner of the Year by the Perrier Road Runners Club of America. I've been involved with athletes at all levels, high school, collegiate, post-collegiate world level. I do not know a person who is a more intense competitor than Kim Merritt. During her most successful years as a runner, Kim won such races as the Honolulu Marathon, back-to-back -back titles in both the Quad City Times Bix 7 Mile and the Charleston Distance Run, just to name a few. As the 1970s came to a close, Kim continued to be at the top of her game with an occasional victory and many top 10 finishes in national competition. Her final year of top level competition came in 1979, which included a sixth place at the Boston Marathon. Kim received her Bachelor of Science degree in psychology from Parkside, where she also earned academic All-American honors for her work in the classroom. She is also a charter member of the school's Sports Hall of Fame.